Hey guys, welcome to Legend X Studio. I have a new YouTube series I'm starting. It's called Learning the Basics. So basically what I'm doing in here is I'm showing guy everyone that want to get into Pokemon competitively, whether singles, doubles, or triples. Um, I'm just showing them kind of the basics of what they need to know to get in competitively and kind of give them resources to help them. So our video for today is learning the basics VGC rules so I'm just gonna go over the video game competition rules so a lot of these videos I make are gonna be focused towards the video game competition however it can be also be focused towards other things such as singles or double singles or other formats uh, they it just needs to be adapted a little alright so you guys are on your path to becoming a great Pokemon player so to get into Pokemon competitively you need to have some resources and so I put some on the screen that you guys can see and they're also going to be in the link below. Pokemon.com is obviously a great source because it's where the rules are released and it's the Pokemon official website. Nugget Bridge is another great resource for anyone trying to get into Pokemon or that wants to learn about making teams and all that. They actually have a ton of team reports and other stuff to get new players in. We also have Smogon, um, great for idea generating, and they also Smogon also does their own individual kind of competition, so they're a unique source to look at. Showdown, which is also made by Smogon, is a great place to make teams quickly and test them, so you don't have to like take a really long time to make your team in your game. Instead, you can get, just go on Showdown and do a quick little test to see if it's working the way you like before you put all the effort into actually building the team. And then we also have Cerebi. Um, it gives you a lot of information, updates you on Pokemon news, and can tell you about Pokemon movesets and what they can do. Alright, so for VGC, the format is double battle. So it's basically two Pokemon versus two Pokemon. Um, so we have a team preview, that is, we look over the six Pokemon that your opponent's bringing, and then you, you obviously can't see the moves or items they're bringing. But, uh, so you see the six, and then you choose four Pokemon on your team that you're going to bring. So each player has 90 seconds to determine what they want to bring to the battle. And the first player to knock out all four Pokemon is the winner, unless you run the time. And then it runs into a few different things that I'm not going to get into details here. Alright, so next, VGC teams and Pokemon that are allowed. So people can use anything in the National Pokedex from 1 to 719. Pokemon has a ton of Pokemon. The Pokemon has to be caught in the game, transferred um, from a previous title, or released at an official event, and you can't use any like hacked Pokemon through things like Game, Sh game Shark or what that, whatnot, because if they catch you, they will disqualify you. Um, also, the Pokemon that you use also must have a blue pentagon symbol. Alright, so now you know what kind of the Pokemon you can use, and the... Uh, what requirements there are. Uh, here are a little more details about Pokemon that are allowed in teams. So you can't have any duplicate Pokemon or items. Also your Pokemon can't have the nickname of another Pokemon. Um, two Pokemon on the team cannot have the same nickname. So you can't have two Pokemon with the name of Awesome. Then all the Pokemon above level 50 will be brought down to level 50 for that battle. It won't be permanent, just for that battle. And then Pokemon below level 50 will stay at that level. So usually you want to have your Pokemon level 50 or above. Unless you have some odd strategy. Anyways. And then Pokemon are allowed to Mega Evolve. Um, and then an item that is excluded is Soul Dew. If you guys are new to this and you don't know what Soul Dew does, don't look into it. It's not really that important. Alright, so this is a list of banned Pokemon. I'm not going to go over all of them. Basically, the banned Pokemon are like really strong legendaries such as the main Pokemon, such as Xerneas and Yelvetl. So you guys can look that over, see what Pokemon are banned. Then, the game you need for VGC, usually they require you to have the most recent game because it has the newest features and it has the coolest stuff. So right now, the, the game that you need to play is Pokemon Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire. It can be either the game card or downloadable version. So this is for the VGC 2015 year it may change in the future and the game also has to be updated so the games do have peri periodically have updates so you have to have the most recent update 
or you could get disqualified. Alright, so now, after you know what Pokemon you can have on your team and what you can do, go out there and have some fun. So test teams on Pokemon Global Link or on Showdown. You're soon going to notice that a lot of Pokemon are really powerful and there are different things that determine how good a Pokemon is. Um, you, all, you, you will also notice that there are a few Pokemon that are used consistently and those are what we refer to as the meta. So in the majority of teams you can see like Kangaskhan used a lot. Alright, so for future episodes or the next episode, uh, we're going to be focusing on the basics of Pokemon and what makes them the way they are. So we're going to talk about base, base stats, um, attack versus special attack, defense versus special defense, IVs, EVs, movesets. If you guys don't know what I'm talking about, that's okay. You'll see later. Um, there will be also there will also be an episode where we explain the most commonly used Pokemon. As I said earlier, they're referred to as the meta, and I'm going to show you guys how to deal with them and what are common weaknesses for those really commonly used Pokemon. All right, thank you guys so much for tuning in to my forgot what I called this series alright guys thank you so much for tuning into learning the basics VGC rules I'll see you guys next time for Pokemon base stats